Jonathan Cooper, Jordan Fuller, K.J. Hill joining me here on the set to get set for this year, coming off a 13-win season a year ago. And, of course, the Rose Bowl champions as well at Ohio State. And pleased to have the guys, as promised, here. And e each one of you was part of that Rose Bowl game, and, and we were out there. Uh, BTN was there, too, and, and got a chance to kind of be at least tangentially a part of that week and sense how special it was to each one of you guys. And, and I'll start with you. You know, you, you guys can kind of take me down the line here. Give me a sense, Jonathan, uh, of what it meant to send Coach Meyer out with a win. Uh, it meant everything, you know. Just knowing that that was going to be his final game with us and knowing everything that he's done for the program and for me personally, I wanted to make sure that he went out the right way. And I think that we did that. Jordan? Yeah, I mean, we really just wanted to send him out on a high note. So anything that we could do to make that happen, we did. And um, I'm, I'm just glad we were able to do it in a historic bowl game, just like the Rose Bowl. What will stand out about that moment, the, the post-game celebration with him in, in that locker room, KJ? I mean, for one, he's a legend, you know. Um, to go in there with him and give him a big hug and just tell him goodbye was, a, uh, you know, it was sad. But at the end of the day, all the accomplishments he had, it was it felt good to be his final last, final last class of a team. And so now it's year one under Ryan Day. Give us a sense of what's different. And KJ, I can start with you. We can work our way down. What's different in in, in the Ohio State football program now than than it was a year ago? Other than the obvious, there's a different guy at the front of the room. Right. The only thing I think that's different is, like you said, it's a new guy out there because we got the same goals, we got the same culture in our team. Only difference is, I guess. We got to go out here and prove ourselves because everybody thinks we can't do it no more because Coach Meyer's gone. But the only thing we can do is put our head down and go to work and uh, prove everyone the doubters. Jordan, anything stand out as being different to you? Um, not so much different. Like our all of our infrastructure is the same. But um, I would say we just have a really hungry team, and I feel like we have a lot, a lot to prove. Well, give me a sense of, of what coach days like because you know I think we all in these seven years got a sense of, of coach Meyer and and kind of how he ran things coach day this is new for all of us it's new for you guys yep. what's his demeanor like what what's his kind of motivational what are his tactics well, g give us an idea of kind of who he is when he comes in every day um coach day he's a great guy first of all uh he's an amazing guy um you could tell he's somebody who really cares about his players. We all have, I think, great relationships with Coach Day. And even though he's he's confident, you you wouldn't be able to look at him and tell that he was somebody who never had a head coaching job. He looks experienced and he's ready, and our team trusts him, trust him uh, wholeheartedly. You talk about the relationships with the players, Jonathan. Give me a sense of how that kind of shows up. What, what, what are his relationships like? Um, for me personally, you know, he talks to me one-on-one, -on -one and he tells me what he needs from me. You know, I can go into his office at any time, and he can tell me what he expects from me from this team. He can tell me uh, what I need to work on as a person, as a football player, and I feel like just having that relationship with him goes a long way. Give us some insight into your relationship, Jordan. How, how do you interact with him? Yeah, I would say it's the same thing. Um, like, for example, I'm, I'm involved in, on campus, and anything that I want to involve him or, like, some guys on the football team with, um, I'll, I'll go to him, and it's just open-door policy. And he's he's very just, just open and, and understanding, and he, he truly listens to everything you have to say, just if it's not involving football or it's, or it's involving football. So that's what I respect about him the most. KJ, you were talking a, a moment ago that there, at least in your mind, are some doubters. Is that is that something that's that you guys are talking about internally? I mean, are, are, is that the way you're coming into this year, thinking people are doubting Ohio State football? Oh, uh, definitely. We hear it. We see it, you know, but all we can do is use it as fuel and uh, motivation to uh, go even harder, you know, in the off season, in training camp for everything because because uh, I know Coach Day, he hungry. He want to be the best, and I just feed off him. I'm hungry, too, and I want to be the best receiver. So we all correlated with uh, – we all feeding off each other with that. When you talk about the doubters, I mean, are you talking about the fact that you guys weren't picked first in the preseason poll? Is that does, does that bother you guys? Uh, <laughs> I guess that could be one thing, yeah. but um, just just the fact that people think Coach Coach Day can't get it done, or our defense just kind of 
slipped off last year and we're not we're not the same like silver bullet defense that we should be. I mean, that's just enough for us. Uh, KJ could talk about the offense, but that's how we feel on the defensive side. Well, I am interested to talk about that defense a bit because, look, the numbers bear out the fact that, that mm -hmm. it wasn't as good a defense as you guys are. You typically have. You gave up the longest run in Ohio State history. You gave up the longest pass in Ohio State history. I mean, there there were some breakdowns defensively. Mm -hmm. So how do you get back to the expectation of being that, that silver bullet defense? And I want to get both of your guys' takes on that. Um, me personally, I feel like you just you had to you had to learn from the mistakes that happened last year. You had to go back, you had to watch the film, you had to see what happened, you had to see where we made the mistakes at, and then take those mistakes and learn from them. You know, you can't repeat them. You have to go hard. I think the scheme, you know, bringing in new coaches and the new scheme that we have now is definitely suited better for us. What's the, describe the new scheme for us? Um, I think, you know, last year we did a lot of stunts. We did a lot of movement from east to west and had the linebackers play over top of the D line, mm -hmm. a lot of slanting. But I feel like this year it's a lot of north and south, a lot of attacking our gaps, a lot of uh, just going through our gaps and staying there and being there and playing faster, faster and physical, more physical. Jordan, how would you characterize the, the defensive differences? Yeah, um, I would say it's a bit more zone this year. So we got we have odds on the quarterback and um, that that makes room for more takeaways and and definitely like big hits. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm excited for and just to just to play with that swagger again. Uh, I haven't I feel like I haven't played with that swagger since high school basically so I'm, I'm i'm just really just chopping at the bit to get out there and really just play just play free kj your role changes at least from where i sit just because you guys lost some really talented wide receivers now all of a sudden you become really the headline guy of that receiver crew how does that change your mentality when everyone's looking to you um you know i just go back to uh, watching the other three that left. Uh, they led the team, they led the receiving room. So I know how I looked up to them. So I want the younger guys to look up to me like how I looked up to them. So I just got big shoes to fill and um, just be myself. What's crazy about that is on one hand, you do look at some of these big names that have departed at wide receiver. And on the other hand, it is very realistic to think that you with a, a great season could leave Ohio State as the all-time receptions leader. So, I mean, it's not like the cupboard is bare right. by any stretch. <laughs> right. With that possibility looming out there for you, how does that motivate you? Uh, it's a lot of motivation, you know. Um, but all I can do is go out there and perform and do what I do best. Um, don't try to do too much and just play my game and have fun. That's why I play this game, to have fun. Jonathan, I look at the defensive ends, and aside from you, it's kind of a young group of defensive ends. So. How do you go about kind of helping those guys along and getting them to, to live up to the high standard that's been set at that position in Ohio State? Um, you got to talk to them, you know, have one-on-one -on -one conversations with them and let them know that the standard, the bar that is set, that was set a while ago from former players is still there. You can't lower the bar at all. Um, and I feel like even for myself, like I, I'm going to hold myself to that standard as well as being the best the best group in uh, Ohio State, the best unit. And, you know, when I talk to those young guys, they understand, they get it. They get the culture. They get the Rushman uh, culture and vibe. And they take it. You know, they listen. I, it's, it's, really, it's really refreshing when you go and you talk to a young player uh, and they listen to you and they follow your lead and they look at you as an example as the bar set and then they just follow your lead and I feel like the young guys that we have are doing great they're doing amazing I'm really pleased with where they're at um, I'm glad they view me as a leader as a, someone who can lead them and uh, show them how it's done I'd be remiss if I didn't ask each one of you guys a little bit about Justin Fields just because there's so much talk about him coming in. We have different perspectives. We have a guy who catches passes from him. We have a couple guys who try to defend him. Give us a sense of what makes him special. Um, right now, um, you know, we're training together. We work out together in the offseason. So I can see he got a chip on his shoulder. He got a lot to prove and um, just how he's working right now. And uh, going into training camp, he's going to compete. I know he's going to compete hard. And... Um, you know, that's all he can do right now and prove himself. Jordan? Yeah, um, ever since he stepped foot on campus, he's just put his head down to work, and that's what I respect the most. Uh, he didn't demand to be that leader. He didn't demand to be the guy. He just put his head down and worked, and I think that's going to take him a long way, just um, 
obviously he's, he's very talented on the field. That speaks for itself, but just the type of person he is, I think that's going to set him apart. Jonathan? Uh, yeah, basically backing off uh, what they said, he's a great guy. You know, he's a, when he came in, everybody accepted him. and Nobody looked at him sideways or any different. You know, he's he's a great friend, great teammate, great brother, and he does amazing, thing, amazing things on the field, and he's, he does amazing things off the field as well. Jonathan Cooper, Jordan Fuller, K.J. Hill, thanks so much, guys. Really appreciate it. Thank Look you. forward to watching you guys in action this year. Appreciate